and the goal. Speak? Oh, I'm so, so pleased and honored to be uh, able to be interviewed and have my picture taken by lovely uh, women from Brazil. Um, I have not yet visited Brazil, but um, it is a country that I've always admired. I have uh, particularly been interested in your music <laughs> and, uh, and the beauty of your women. And, uh, and of course, uh, um, I, I, I've followed your politics and I know you are an extraordinary country. When I was in Cuba several years ago, I met uh, uh, some people from the Bahia province in Brazil, and I was reminded that in the Bahia province that there are a large number of, um, well, you say African descendants Brazil, from Brazil, who have a, a substantial number of people there, um, uh, very similar to the size of the population of African Americans in the United States. So uh, uh, I hope to come uh, to visit Brazil as soon as I am able. Thank you for the opportunity. And Talk Clarence, do you, uh, can you say something about the importance of communication and why... The... Oh, yes, yes. Um, I'm sorry I can't speak Portuguese. <laughs> I'm only speaking English. But in English, as in Portuguese, it's still the same issue prevails. The ability to, to carefully use the written and spoken word to effectively and accurately communicate the message which you seek to uh, present to someone. At the University of San Francisco, I teach a course uh, entitled The Art of Advocacy Speech Writing. The use of the written word, whether it's the Portuguese word or an English word, is very important in being able to accurately communicate the thought and substance of what you want somebody to hear or read. 